What's up, fuckers, and welcome back to another offseason rebuild here on NBA 2K21 Next Gen. It has definitely been a minute since we have done an offseason rebuild, and since the Nets were the most recently eliminated team that it's whose offseason rebuild I have not done, I thought, why not? We'll go ahead and do them. A bunch of you guys commented as well. So, we're going to get into this one. The Nets really do not need that much of a rebuild, so I'm going to use the term air quotes and rebuild. It's not going to be a big one. Uh, I'm going to try to make as many fun trades as possible. But again, I don't really foresee myself trading any of the big three. So uh, before we do into this one, if you guys are new around here, could subscribe to the channel. It definitely does help me out a ton. It definitely helps the YouTube algorithm out a ton. Try to grow this audience. And as always, if you guys have any other video ideas, feel free to leave them down below in the comment section, whether it's rebuilds, offseason rebuilds, prospect rebuilds, whatever it may be, feel free to comment those down below. So... We're here with the Brooklyn Nets. Um, I'm just using the same save file that I have for basically the prospect rebuild, so I just switched teams. It's really not that hard. Uh, Steve Nash is not going anywhere. I'm going to keep Dan Tony as my assistant coach. Louis Carter, you're fired. New assistant coach Josh Longstaff is fine by me. You're fired. And you're fired as well. So I'm going to get Randy Martin for those three untapped potentials. Cuba Gooding's cool with me. We're going to get all those guys. I'm going to try to get my boy Owen Masters. We get him and, sure, Caleb Rogers. You want to come here? Cool. Welcome to Brooklyn. So... We're up to the NBA draft. I also want to make it perfectly clear that the Brooklyn Nets were my pick to win the NBA Finals, and I think they very well probably would have done it. I don't really think it would have been that much of a series with really any team, if I'm being honest, especially with the Suns uh, or the LA Clippers. Just in my opinion, if especially with a no Kawhi on the Clippers, and again, I just don't see a way that if all three of their superstars were healthy, then anybody would have had the chance to beat them. I'm just that's just my 100% honest opinion with you right there i just want to make that my perfectly clear that i don't think you know brooklyn has a bad future or anything so um we're gonna get deandre jordan off this team immediately joe harris obviously had a couple of bad games um you know in in the eastern conference semifinals but i don't know if i want to trade him yet necessarily i think it definitely could be an option but uh we might not jump the gun right now uh you know obviously all three of these guys are here i mean it's crazy what harden did on one leg man that's i mean that seriously is unbelievable and then obviously Kyrie with that horrible ankle injury i've actually done that same thing to my ankle just playing pickup it is legitimately Oh my God, my ankle literally like exploded. It was horrid. So um, we do have Nick Claxton. Uh, you know, he does develop well in this game. I have no, you know, want or need to play DeAndre Jordan, you know, on this team whatsoever. So uh, we will draft somebody at number 27 just because you guys have been saying, you know, you'd like to see me get some new players from time to time. So we will go ahead and try to do that here. We'll take a look at the summary with Green, Cunningham, and then Evan Mobley top three to the respective team. So we're going to take a look at some prospects right here. Uh, Garuba is the number one prospect here. I do get him a decent amount. Uh, Corey Kispert's here. He's from Gonzaga. Yeah, he is. Jared Butler. Chris Duarte, Roku Praxi, and Keontae Johnson, James Murray, Cam Thomas. Okay, um, so far and away, I mean, he's the highest-ranked prospect here, I believe. Uh, no, Roku Praxi actually is the highest-ranked prospect. All right, I'll take Roku. Uh, highest-ranked prospect. I just get, you know, Garuba a lot. Or I could take Corey Kispert. You know, I'll take Corey Kispert. Why not? We're, we're seriously, actually, we're just, we're just totally overshooting that. You know, he's the 55th-ranked prospect. And again, I know you guys wanted me to start looking at overalls a little bit more, but I just can't really... If I want him, I can probably take him in the second round. Like, can I maybe go ahead and get a second round pick from somebody? Like, who has, uh, like, pick three in the second round? No. Okay. How about he not? He might not be there then. Like, I don't know. We're just we're just floating some ideas around. Like, I don't know. Pick. Whoops, not that. Pick six in the second round. Fine. Uh, I'll try to get Corey Kispert there again. Just kind of getting some more talent on this team again. He definitely could be traded. I'm not saying I'm going to use him in the long run, but uh, hopefully he didn't get drafted. That would really suck. He did, obviously. Of course he did. So uh, we're just going to go ahead and draft somebody. It really doesn't matter. Uh, well, actually, what pick did he go? I would like to see this. Uh, round two. He went. Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Come on. Oh, he might have been a later first round pick. He definitely was, wasn't he? Yep. He went 28 and he's a 73 overall. Praxine's a 71. All right. Maybe I made the wrong pick. Um, but we're going to go ahead and draft somebody else. Whoops. I'm all over the place. Choose prospect. Keontae Johnson, Jaden Springer from, yeah, Tennessee. All right, I'll take Jaden Springer, fine by me. So that should not have been that long of a process for guys that might not even crack the rotation. Oh, I forgot to sign Jaden Springer. I'm so happy I made that trade. Uh, Spencer Dinwiddie obviously is going to decline that player option. I would like to bring Landry Schmidt back. I would like to maybe do some sort of signing trade with Dinwiddie. Bruce Brown was tremendous for the Brooklyn Nets uh, in the playoffs. I would definitely like to have him on this team. So uh, I think Dinwiddie's definitely somebody I want to bring back, potentially in a signing trade. I know there's been those rumors out there in real life as well. Uh, I think Blake Griffin can definitely be in a signing trade as well. And then... I think Tyler Johnson can probably go. I think we can probably move on from him. Jeff Green had a couple good games um, for the Brooklyn Nets. I think we're probably just going to be able to get somebody better off the bench, if we're being honest. So I do want to bring back Bruce Brown. He was tremendous for us. So Dinwiddie and Blake Griffin are back. 
Um, no, I cannot get him back yet. So let's look at this team right now. Uh, obviously, Dinwiddie is here. I think we definitely could maybe go ahead and use him to either get a new small forward or a new center, depending if I want to use Claxton or not. Uh, and Blake Griffin or, and or DeAndre Jordan will definitely be in that trade as well. So we got to make a move, and I will see you guys with whatever that trade is. So this is the deal we're going to be doing. Chicago Bulls are going to give us Nikola Vucevic and TJ McConnell, Spencer Dinwiddie, Blake Griffin, and a second-round pick heading over to Chicago. Vucevic is going to be our starting center. I know I just hyped up Nick Claxton a bit, but again, at the end of the day, I can definitely have him come off the bench. I don't think it's really going to change him anything. So uh, Vucevic, obviously an all-star caliber center, uh, you know, probably one of the more underrated centers in the league, in my opinion, but he's going to be here probably for the entire video, and we basically just added a fourth all-star to this team. So DJ's definitely got to go. I think Kevin Durant's not going to have a backup. I can live with Joe Harris for at least one season, so I'm probably going to go ahead and maybe just get a first-round pick. I mean, I don't love and maybe backing up Joe Harris. Um... I think he's, his game definitely isn't as polished at 18 years old as it definitely could be maybe by the third season. So uh, we might go ahead and try to get a different backup small forward for DJ. Uh, and we do have Bruce. Actually, we do have Bruce Brown. How, he's 6'4". I feel like I maybe could move him to that small. Actually, yeah. He's going to go to the Thunder. I'm going to go ahead and match that deal. We're going to go ahead and move Bruce Brown to that small forward spot again. This is 2K. I can do whatever I want. So... He's going to be the one backing up Joe Harris. Uh, I am going to still start Joe Harris just for, you know, obviously he's a tremendous three-point shooter. So Joe Harris is going to slide in the starting spot. Bruce Brown will be his backup. And now we're going to go ahead and probably just get a first-round pick for DJ because I really don't think we need him. And I don't really think. I mean, we picked up TJ McConnell to back up Kyrie, which is a tremendous backup. I'm fine with Shamet, And then Praxine's obviously just going to be here to develop. So DeAndre Jordan, uh, unfortunately, your time here has come to a close. Not that you really played at all for us. So uh, I might just, I don't want to swap anything. Can I just go ahead and first round pick Dorian Finney-Smith. Welcome to the team. I'm just going to get another first now, if we're being honest. Because, again, I don't need him. So I'm going to get a first for him, and I'll see you guys at the rotation at the start of the first year. Before we do get into the rotation, I would like somebody to explain to me how on God's green earth that we are number 12 in the power rankings preseason. I'm pretty sure this is accurate. I know conference rank is based on just alphabetical spelling. But how on earth are we 12th in the power rank? Like, is there another way to look at this? Um, I have no idea where this would be. Would it be no... Um, yeah, power rankings. Let's look at it. Yep, we are number 12. How on earth? that The disrespect, man, is crazy. So I guess we're just going to have to prove them wrong. Kyrie Irving, James Harden, Joe Harris, Kevin Durant, Nikola Vucevic, Bench Unit, TJ McConnell, Bruce Brown, Nick Claxton, and Landry Shamet. We're going to give a big fuck you to 2K. Let's go win a championship. So a quick update for you. We are no longer number 12 in the power rankings. We are number one. We went 64 and 18. I was able to catch our record. And James Harden won another MVP for us. 28 points a game. Not another for us, but another MVP for him. Five, five and a half rebounds, eight assists, one steal. You can see the rest of his shooting splits, shooting stats right there. I almost said shooting splits, and it would have made sense, but I mixed words. Uh, Cade's Rookie of the Year in Houston. Cole Anthony, Sixth Man of the Year. Jonathan Isaac, Defensive Player of the Year. Most Improved Tyrese Maxey, Steve Nash, Coach of the Year. Something I've noticed a lot is that Cade Cunningham doesn't go number one as much overall as he used to. And I'm not really sure what that's about. Um... You can argue all you want for Jalen Green. As I mentioned earlier, I think Jalen Green definitely has the potential to be the best prospect in the draft class. I said that in my rebuild with him yesterday, but you know, I don't know. You can argue there. Uh, I think Cade Cunningham is the best player as of now, but we'll see. Harden, Durant, Kyrie, Nikola Vucevic. So four 20 plus point per game, guys. What did Joe Harris shoot from three? That is definitely important for me. 42%. I will take that. Oh my God. Kyrie was 47.5%. God damn. Uh, Roku Praxian legitimately didn't play, so that's obviously a little glitch. Rebounds went to Nikola Vucevic, and assist was James Harden. So, we got a battle in New York here in round number one. Kyle Lowry is a new addition. Emmanuel Quickly, RJ Barrett, Julius Randle, Montrez Harrell. I'm not sure why you signed him when you have Mitchell Robinson, who I think definitely has a lot more potential. And wow, they were up 3-1, but they blew the lead. Us in Milwaukee here, uh, who actually beat this team, I guess technically it would be last year, added Nerlens Noel to their squad. I do not like that spacing next to Giannis. We went in seven, and we got Charlotte. Lamelo, Terry Rozier, Buddy Heald, Miles Bridges, and Andre Drummond. I'm sure they paid him $40 million a year. Something dumb like that. All right, Brooklyn versus Dallas. Brunson, Richardson, Luka Doncic, Larry Marketing, and Chris Stapps, Porzingis. Let's see if we can get it done here, Matt. Really? Lucas just nuts, man. Okay, um, I guess this is going to be a two-peat. I really thought this was going to be a three-peat challenge, but you know what? I, I guess 2K had other plans for me here. So, oh, I approved something. I Shit, what did I approve? Okay, that's not that big of a deal. I thought I approved, like, take off the salary cap or something. That would have screwed this whole rebuild up. Oh, my God, we're projected five from Houston. There's no way. That's definitely has a protection on it or something. Uh, yeah, I believe it's just at number six. So um, I'm probably going to re-sign Steve Nash. I don't really see a reason to get rid of him. I mean, again, he's brought us to a final. So if I can find him. Hello? Is he just gone or did I go over him? There he is. 
Okay, um, we definitely need to get a better assistant coach, though. Hopefully there's one here. Uh, Mike D'Antoni, I'll just bring him back. He actually has really solid ratings. Forgot about that. So, And D'Antoni doesn't want to be an assistant for us anymore, so Ryan Williams, come on in here. Cool. Let's head up to the NBA draft now. Obviously, we do not have a Houston's pick this year, but we should have their unprotected pick next year now. 28 from Miami, 30 from Dallas, and 30 in the second round as well. This is irrelevant. I didn't think anybody would want that. So is there any way we can maybe move up a couple spots in this draft? Anybody want to offer me something? No. All right. I might try to do this manually. Like if I propose a trade of 28, 30, and 30 in the second round, can I maybe move up to like 15? And I'll toss you another second as well. One more second. All right. I'm not doing any more than that. That's just dumb. All right. Um. How about, uh, oh, brother? Uh, 21. One more second. Cool. Uh, again, I don't know anybody in this draft class at all. I have not really studied this draft class at all. I've barely studied the one that's upcoming. So um, I know a lot. A couple of you were saying Amoni Bates is actually 2023. I Is he? I don't know. Um, I guess I can try to find another draft class. He very well could be, but I don't know. Kendall Brown's here, 34 overall ranked prospect. Uh, Frank Kepnang's here, and he, I know his overall, and I know he's a very highly ranked prospect here. So we're just going to take him uh, just because I've heard of the guy before at least. Um, so Craig Kepdank, 73 overall for us, probably going to not really get that many minutes. And oh my God, I did not realize all of these guys were free agents for Brooklyn this season. Uh, Shemet, I'd like back Marcus Zagorowski. I would like back and Klax, I'd like to bring back. Um, but ultimately if we don't get him back, it's not that big of a deal anymore. So, oh baby, I did not realize they're all free agents. That's actually insane. I guess I got to max out all these guys. Kevin Durant, James Harden has an offer as well from the Wizards that he likes. I'm going to go ahead and probably, yeah, I'm just, I mean, I'm just going to give them all max contracts. It'd be dumb not to. I mean, I know I just didn't give Kyrie one, but he didn't have any other offers. So, and wow, we got them all back. No, we didn't. No, he didn't. You little snake rat fuck. Okay. Well, I guess that makes this video a little more interesting now that Kevin Durant was a slimy ass bitch. Are you kidding me? You slut. Okay, now he's here. Okay. Um, you want to just come back maybe? Uh, player option, no trade clause. Seriously, dude? What are you doing? Do you really not? Okay, cool. Welcome back to the team. That would have made it much more, a much more challenging rebuild, but I had no want or need to let go of who, what I consider the best player in the world right now. Okay, that was a little excessive, if I do say so myself. All right, 20 million bucks a year for Claxton when we did just pick up Frank Kepnang. Might be a little tough for me to swing, especially because he's only playing like 15 to 18 minutes a night. So, I mean, it might be dumb. I might try to do a sign and trade of some sort. I think that's probably what I'm going to do. So, I'll bring Cla and I can't even bring him back. Yeah, I can't even bring him back. So, uh, I'm going to have to wait to one or both of these guys gets qualifying offers or they get a contract and I'll have to match it. So, uh, I don't believe I have any other free agents. I do need to figure out. Yeah, shooting guards obviously all set. Okay. Um, wow, I did not think that was going to happen. So I'm going to wait on these qualifying, and I'll see you guys for the trade. So we're actually going to do this trade here with Phoenix. You might be saying, what on God's green earth are you doing? Uh, we're going to bring in Marvin Bagley. So Bruce Brown, Claxton, and I moved to power forward, and Joe Harris, uh, who just seems to be regressing a lot. So we're going to get Marvin Bagley, who, again, hasn't been bad. I mean, obviously, you know, I'm pretty sure every single day of the week the Sacramento Kings regret, you know, drafting him over Luka Doncic. But honestly, he's kind of turned it around a little bit. I mean, maybe not second overall pick expectations, but... Still, nonetheless, pretty solid. 16 points, 8.5 of boards, one assist a game, just under one block. So, Bagley's going to come in. I also could do this deal for Porzingis, who does have even better numbers, but I got Porzingis in the video yesterday. So, got to spice it up a little bit. So, welcome to the team, Bagley. Kevin Durant obviously just goes down to small four. That simplifies that. So, we do need to figure out, I believe we're actually, never mind, we're all set. Sarge is going to go to power forward. That actually makes that so much simpler. Never mind, we're all set. I'll see you guys at the start of uh, year number two. So, year number two here, the rotation is all set for us, hopefully winning a championship this year. Once again, the disrespect's happening. We are number 11 in the power rankings. I don't know if that's just something I've never noticed, especially when I have a super team, but what on God's green earth is this team doing at number 11 in the power rankings? Kyrie Irving, James Harden, Kevin Durant, Marvin Bagley the third, and Nikola Vucevic rounds out the starting five. Bench unit, TJ McConnell, Dario Saric, Lander Schmidt. And our boy Frank Kepnang, who we took 21st overall. So hopefully he can be pretty good for us. How tall is he? 6'11". Okay. We're all set. I'm hoping to win a championship here. I'll see you guys at the end of year number two. So hopefully some different results this upcoming playoffs. Once again, number one here in the Eastern Conference. Number one in the power ranking. Unfortunately, I did not say a record yet. Luke is your MVP. Victor's rookie of the year in San Antonio. Tyrese Maxey, Giannis Antetokounmpo, Nick Claxton, James Borrego, coach of the year. We won more games. Eat a dick. All right. We're going to look at some numbers right now. 
Honestly, you'll love to see it. So no four, no more four point. Oh my God, four twenty plus point per game uh, scores. But again, we're adding another you know fifteen plus guys. So I will take that any day of the week. Uh, and take a look at some bench numbers right there. So rebounds it went to Nikola Vucevic and assists it was Kyrie Irving. We got Chicago here in the first round. Kobe White, Zach Levine, Pat Williams, Blake Griffin. They replaced Larry Markin with Blake Griffin. Uh, at this point in his career, I don't know if that would be the smartest move in the world, but that's just my opinion. Gentlemen sweep after the Chicago Bulls do take game one, moved on to Miami, and they signed Steph Curry. And now you have a lethal shooting backcourt of Steph Curry and Tyler Hero. They added Mikel Bridges. I'm not sure if they just let go of Jimmy Butler or what really happened there, but I guess they moved on. We win in five in Charlotte here once again, who we are hoping to get, you know, say, oh, Jimmy's here in Chicago, or Charlotte, excuse me. So we're hoping to have the same results as last year here. Bro. I mean, what else can I do? You know? First round, good. Excuse me, did my 2K just freeze? Why is my 2K freezing? Conference semifinals. Conference finals. Okay, I mean, I'm not going to lie. I mean, the, if you look at the numbers here, I mean, it's not like KD and Harden were that good in the semifinals, but at least we won. And if you take a look at the conference finals, like, what was wrong? I mean, I I don't know. I seriously don't know. Are we not going to win a championship with this team? Are you kidding me? I've had, I've had teams, oh my God, I can't even actually explain to you how much worse than this win. Like, honestly, way less games in championships. Maybe the Brooklyn Nets are just cursed here. And for those of you that say I cheat in these videos, I mean, seriously, do you need any more evidence than this? League meetings right now, we're going to go ahead and decrease. No, God, no. We don't need any more scoring in this league. So, draft lottery time. And I thought we had an unprotected Rockets. Oh, maybe we do. There's not a lottery. Oh, my bad for assuming the Rockets will be in the lottery. So, um, we will find out where that pick will be shortly. Staff signing. I think it's time to move on from Steve Nash. Yep, and time for a new head coach. Doc Rivers, not a chance in hell. Quinn Snyder, maybe just because he has two A ratings, but Nick Nurse would be my preferred option. I'm going to give him a lot of money just because, again, I want him on this team. So, Nick Nurse, welcome to Brooklyn. You are going to be our new head coach, and hopefully you can figure something out that Steve Nash could not figure out. So, no first-round picks. I thought we had one from Houston. I guess we do not. Roku Praxian is going to be coming back. Qualifying Garrison Matthews. I had no idea you were on this team. Moratorium, or free agency. I don't know why I call it moratorium. So, Vucevic is a free agent. If it, hope, fuck, fuck. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Oh, son of a bitch. Here's the thing. I would go ahead and maybe like trade something. Like I would trade Marvin Bagley or somebody like that. But I just know I, I'm actually looking really dumb not, you know, keeping Nick Claxton at this point. I know how 2K works. And even if I trade Bagley, it still might not let me get him back. So, God damn it. Um, Sarge is unrestricted too. Oh, my God. Oh, I can actually give. Wait, okay, maybe not. How much can I give Sarge? Can I give Sarge like... Okay, I can give him that much. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait one sec. Sorry, I'm all over the place. I want to get this done because I want Vucevic back in this team. All right, Vucevic wants 37 mil. Can I offer him? Nope. Can I offer? How much do I have to? Okay, so I can. Okay, I think I can. Okay, I'm all over the place. I need to trade Marvin Bagley is basically the, the game plan right now. So we're going to find a trade for him. I'll be back. So I don't necessarily want to do this trade. We are just saving a lot of money picking up Isaiah Stewart from the Detroit Pistons. So uh, it has to be done because we do want to get Nikola Vucevic back on this team. So yes, we can get him back on that offer. So he has no offers. I'm just going to give him that. Cool. Welcome back to the team, Vucevic. All right. I'm going to let you guys go. Uh, I don't. I definitely don't have money to get all of you back after this. So welcome back to the team. Do we have a... Okay, we have a $23 million trade exception. That's actually pretty big because I do need to figure out who my starting power forward is because, again, I don't really want Isaiah Stewart coming off the bench when I can go ahead and figure out who my starting power forward is. And if this dude can maybe shoot just a little bit better, I don't really like this fit next to each other. I know he's only six foot eight. I think I can maybe get somebody a little bit better, though. So we are now going to have to figure out some sort of trade. This rebuild's kind of all over the place, but I'll see you guys whatever move that is. We're going to do this deal here with the New York Knicks. Obi Toppin's going to be coming over. Take a look at his numbers right there. He's been pretty solid. Welcome to the team, Obi Toppin. So, um, honestly, in Europe, it could be an upgrade, you know, at this point in time. I mean, obviously, I don't really know. I'd say probably Bagley's maybe a little bit better still, uh, you know, at this point in time. But who knows? Two years down the line, anything can happen. So, okay. A little bit of a moment we just had right there. Uh, I think Roku Praxian's ultimately going to get me either a backup power forward or shooting guard because I just really don't need him again. Uh, you know, at least we have Frank Kepnang still coming off the bench. But I do this a lot with some of these guys that I do draft. So, power forward or shooting guard. Um... Not really seeing many great options here. Oh, brother. Uh, Doug McDermott, perfectly fine. Welcome. You know, a little bit of shooting to the bench. So we need a backup shooting guard now. Uh, I'm not really seeing anybody great. We'll sign Alfred Payton, and then we're going to trade him for um, just some sort of um, shooting guard. So we're going to get Alfred Payton here. 
And we'll do a two first round picks. And I cannot believe that this team has not won a championship. I wouldn't care this much if we actually had won a championship, but we have not. Bryn Forbes, welcome to the team. All right. Interesting looking team. We're all settled. So you guys at the start of the third and final year. Third and final season here. And honestly, maybe at this point, you know, the power rankings are correct because we are number 11 once again. And I seemingly cannot win a championship with three superstars on a team. So let's see if we can get it done here in the third year. Kyrie Irving, James Harden, Kevin Durant, Obi Top, and Nikola Vucevic. It sucks that some, I mean, obviously these, both of these guys have regressed a little bit. Hard, or excuse me, KD is still 99 overall. McConnell, Doug McDermott, Brent Forbes, and Frank Kepning. Our bench probably got a little bit worse throughout the video, but again, you know, we do have another star, at, you know, an all-star at the starting center spot. So kind of sacrifices you got to make. I'm really hoping we can get this done. I'll see you guys at the end of the third and final year. So I guess this team just gets worse every year. We're not a one seed. We did not win 60 games. Not that that's a bad season, but I think we won like 53 or 52 games, whatever it was. I don't know what's going on. I, I actually don't. John Morant wins his first MVP. Matthew Hurt, Ricky of the Year. Chet Holmgren, Jonathan Isaac, Taylor Horton, Tucker, Steven Seelas, Coach of the Year. Yeah, 52 and 30 for this squad. Um, I don't know. I mean, is there like too much talent on this team? Obi Toppin's now our second leading scorer. I seriously just have no idea. Like, do we almost have too much? Like, is that is that a thing? I didn't think that was a thing in 2K. And I know that can definitely be a thing in the you know real NBA. And we got Charlotte here in the first round, who I believe beat us in the conference finals last year. We do go on to win in six in Boston here. Kemba is still in Boston, funny enough, because, you know, the rosters obviously aren't updated because 2K is a piece of shit game. I don't know. I'll see you in the next one. I don't know.